Now, the On Your Side forecast with meteorologist Adam Bierman. Well, it was a warm day across the Treasure Valley with temperatures climbing into the upper 80s, low 90s. And to throw in the mix, we got all that smoke too, making for a relatively unpleasant day. Let's take a look at our forecast, see if we can't shake things up, maybe change this weather pattern a little bit. We'll start off with our current temperatures. Right now, it's 88 degrees in Ontario, 89 in Boise, and Mountain Home is up to 91. Twin Falls not far behind at 89 degrees. McCall, a little more comfortable, but more smoky, 80 degrees there. We're at 81 over in uh, Stanley and Sun Valley, checking in at 79 this hour. It was Salmon, Idaho, up at 81. Looking across the Pacific Northwest, things are definitely looking hot. 94 in Reno, 105 in Las Vegas, 85 in Baker City, even Portland up to 87. And uh, that heat's going to continue to build here across the region as we head through the next few days. Looking at our satellite picture, there's just a few high clouds. Those will start to drift through overnight. For the most part, though, looking very quiet, nice and clear. And as we expand the view out a little bit, you can see some monsoon moisture working its way up through uh, the Salt Lake City area. We could see some monsoon moisture up into the Gem State as we head later in the week. But for the next couple of days, we're going to keep things nice and dry and hot, too. Tomorrow, a little bit warmer than today. We'll probably get up around 95 here in the City of Trees. And on Tuesday, not much change. Still looking at the 90s. But you'll notice things starting to cool down closer to the coast. We do have a large... Uh, uh, trough that's going to start pushing into the Pacific Northwest over the next couple of days. Uh, unfortunately, it's just going to kind of stall out here. So just the coast is really the only places that are going to get some relief from the heat. The heat will remain here across uh, Idaho, keeping temperatures hot Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and uh, a little bit beyond then as well. It won't be till the weekend we finally get this cooler, more moist flow pushing into uh, Idaho, and that should help. Maybe the firefighters get handled on some of these fires, and maybe they can put them out and get rid of the smoke. But for tomorrow, we're still going to be dealing with widespread smoke, another sunny day, and a little bit hotter, likely into the low to mid-90s. Up in the west, central mountains, smoke up here as well, sunny, mid-80s for the Long Valley, 90s for the lower elevations. In the south central mountains, smoke here as well. Breezy in Sun Valley and dry, highs into the 80s. And the Magic Valley looking breezy, especially up around Shoshone. Highs into the low 90s with widespread smoke and sunshine above the smoke. And our next seven days, we're going to see that heat hanging around through Thursday. The monsoon will start to sneak in as early as Tuesday, but we'll really start to feel its impacts Thursday as we could get a few isolated thunderstorms as a result of it. And then as we head toward the weekend, that trough finally moves in, knocking our temperatures down. You'll notice quite a decline there in the and the highs dropping into the low 80s by Sunday. So again, that will bring more moisture and it will bring cooler temperatures, which always helps firefighters in their efforts to put out the fire. So hopefully they can get a handle on some of these and reduce the amount of smoke pouring out of the Pacific Northwest. I think everything, everyone would be very grateful for that. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. Well, coming up on 6 on your side, after refusing to evacuate